Here we are looking at a three-dimensional angiogram of a large PCOM aneurysm. By manipulating this rotational model, we are able to come up with the proper working angles to treat the aneurysm. Here we're looking at a two-dimensional angiogram of the carotid artery. You can see the carotid artery there and then the aneurysm fundus and the aneurysm neck. The coiling procedure is performed in a state-of-the-art biplanar angio suite. The microcatheter tip is delivered into the aneurysm. A balloon is inflated across the neck of the aneurysm within the intracranial carotid artery. The purpose for this balloon is to seal off the neck of the aneurysm and keep the coils inside the aneurysm and prevent them from herniating back inside the normal carotid artery. Here you can see the first coil uh, being delivered through the microcatheter into the dome of the aneurysm. This coil is made out of pure platinum and as it comes out of the microcatheter it takes on a three-dimensional um, form, in essence forming a three-dimensional basket and framing structure within the aneurysm fundus. You can see the end of the first coil going in right now. Again, the aneurysm is being sealed off from the normal artery using the uh, balloon that's inflated across its neck. Here you can see a second platinum coil coming in through the microcatheter and being delivered into the aneurysm. There is still some residual filling within the aneurysm. Here we can see another platinum coil coming up through the microcatheter, uh, delivering into the aneurysm dome. Uh, the balloon is inflated across the neck of the aneurysm again. This soft platinum coil goes inside the remaining open spaces within the aneurysm, which show up as black. Uh, in the otherwise silver appearance of the aneurysm coil mass. Uh, here's the last coil going into the aneurysm. Here's the final picture after the coil embolization. You can see the aneurysm is completely coiled and the parent vessel is completely patent.